The assembly line consisted of workers, workers walking to the car and, pro, and product and assembly the, the needed parts. It, it took a lot of time to assemble a car this way. For a banter, the cover the belt, which brought the car to the workers. The workers stay in one place as the belt moved past the car in the car. Thus, the continuous assembly line was born. Company could this only the one produce two or three cars per day. It took a group of two of three men to build each car. The demand for the Model T was so great that Ford needed to find a way to produce more cars faster. Finally, in 1913, Ford changed the way the assembly line worked. We all know Harry. Harry Ford built Ford cars, but what did he have to do with the moving assembly lines? Let's start at the beginning of the story. Henry Ford was born in July 30, 1863 in Dearborn. How would you say this number? Patrick and to a wealthy farming family. But family... Farming did not interest Henry. No, not when he was only right 16, so Henry left home to work Remember? as an apprentice oh, machinist. Oh, um, Over the next oh, few yeah. years, Henry oh, yes. Ford improved his skills. In 1891, he began work with the Addison Engineering Company. Ford used his work experiences to build on his inventions and ideas. In 1903, Ford opened the Ford yes. Motor Company. The company could only produce two or three cars per day. It took a group of two or three men to build each car. The demand for the Model T was so great that Ford needed to find a way to produce more cars faster. Finally, in, in 1913, Ford changed the way we work by changing the way the assembly line worked. The assembly line consisted of worker walking to the car to produce and assembly the needed parts. It took a lot of time to assemble a car with weight. Ford invented the Mechanized conveyor belt, which brought the car to to the workers. The workers stayed in one place as the belt moved past them, carrying the car. Thus, the continu <laughs> continuous assembly line was born. <laughs> Added his part to the car, and then the conveyor. Well, took the car to the next worker. A lot of time was saved because of this conveyor belt. Parts were also brought to the worker on the conveyor belt. The motorized assembly line was a huge success. Four, four Moto Company became the largest car manufacturer in the world. Um, Parts <laughs> so how did the assembly line change the way other people work? People from all over the world came to Detroit to learn the secrets of Ford's moving assembly line. The mass production for a variety of products was now possible for factors all over the world. The moving assembly line re revolutionized the way companies made products. Factories still use assembly lines today. Factories use assembly lines to mass produce everything from the food we eat to the clothes we wear. Without the moving assembly line, every product would be made at a much lower rate. What else did the moving assembly line do? The quicker assembly lines cut really? manufacturing costs yes. cost as well. So the expense so the
company can lower prices and offer less expensive products for consumers. All these changes sound like great things. They sure do. These changes revolutionize the American economy. Henry Ford used the ideas of others to create a new idea. It pays to learn from others and to learn to share ideas. Learning from others is valuable. America's history is filled with people who learn from others to create good ideas. I can't wait to see what the next new idea will be. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> <laughs> They're so tiny from here. Squish. You guys too.